Right now, we uh, we have a great guest uh, to wrap up our show here live from Open Grounds, uh, the um, open house on Open Grounds. We're going to be talking with Francesca Viola, uh, Francesco Viola, rather, pardon me. <laughs> um, uh, actually, do you mind doing a quick mic check? Just to Yes. Is it working? Yeah, uh, is that uh, coming through? All right, excellent. Great. So we picked the right microphones. <laughs> After the Downbeat Project wrapped up, we've got like six microphones all here, and I wanted to make sure the right ones potted up. Uh, open grounds, open uh, open house here at uh, on the on the corner, right next to the uh, old uh, railroad bridge there that you've passed under about six hundred times in your life. But uh, uh, Francesca Viola, I wanted to talk about uh, your company. You you were a UVA researcher, now you're the uh, vice president of engineering, and of course the founder of uh, uh, Hemosonics. Uh, company that comes out of uh, some research that, that you and others have been involved with at UVA. Tell me, what, what's this all about? Great. First of all, thank you so much for having me here, um, and uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, sure, Hemosonics is a company that came out of the University of Virginia, um, the Department of Biomedical Engineering, and it's really a company that is um, aimed at developing a product to uh, guide the treatment of excessive bleeding and excessive clotting. For example, in one of our key applications for us would be to have our instruments um, placed um, in the uh, in, um, operating room and being able to guide the transfusion of blood products for patients undergoing cardiac surgery. Yeah, I, w- I was reading a little bit about the, the, you know, what you all do, and, and I was sort of struck by this, this statistic or the, the fact that uh, clotting and clotting-related issues are the leading cause of death uh, in, in developed countries like the United States. What, how does the technology work? Correct. So um, you know, sometimes we forget to think about it, that blood is an organ uh, and, and as such can become dysfunctional. Sometimes can uh, work too much and create clots in places where are not supposed to be, in, in the heart, in the lungs, in the legs. And in some other cases actually can forget to clot. And in this case, we become exposed to excessive bleeding. So it's really our device is meant to take a small sample from a patient, run it through a series of tests, and really assess in which, in which uh, position on that spectrum from clotting to bleeding you really are, and, and most importantly, what to do to bring you back to normal. How, how does this improve on what was there before? I mean, obviously there were some tests before that were available. Correct. What does this do? Sure. In, in really in our first uh, key application, which is in support of cardiac surgery, really transfusion of blood products there for, for patients that undergo excessive bleeding is mostly, is, uh, is mostly guided by guesswork. So obviously physicians can guess better than either you or I can, but it's mostly based on guesswork. So really our device is a way to give quantitative data to guide transfusion of those products so that patients are treated with only what's needed and, what, and not with excessive products. Mm-hmm. They might have uh, bad consequences for them. So in the long term, the, the goal is really not only to improve patient care, but also to save products, uh, to really to save costs by not transfusing products that a patient might not need. Mm. What's the, uh, the UVA connection? You obviously used to be a researcher Correct. with the University of Virginia. How, sure. did this, how did this connect with UVA? Um, so I actually, I'm a graduate from the University of Virginia graduate mm-hmm. school, uh, and this is actually technology that was developed when I was there at the university uh, during, during my um, graduate studies. And it's really um, by accident almost happened. We, uh, we, had a, we had a seminar coming to the department and talked to us about the importance of the clotting and bleeding uh, um, episodes and, 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 and really the need for a technology that could assess these risks. And at the time I was doing work that connected a few dots and it actually was applicable to the, to the big need in the marketplace. And, and really myself and a couple of other professors in biomedical engineering had the idea to really push this forward and, and make it an enterprise. Very good. And, and how has this uh, been going as a commercial enterprise? It's going well so far. Uh, we just, uh, at the beginning of this month, we moved into a 3,000 square feet facility um, just to uh, mis- ju- just to be able to um, sustain the growth that, that our company um, has undergone. Um, we are about six employees right now, and we're always looking for investors. So, uh. <laughs> well, uh, that may or may not fit our demographic all that well, <laughs> <Sure>. but I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll be sure to, to pass on the word if I know somebody. Um, <laughs> thanks so much for joining us, Francesco Thank Viola. Thank you so much for having me here. You bet. Uh, founder and uh, vice president of engineering for Hemosonics, a medical device company that uh, is based right here in Charlottesville and uh, affiliated with uh, Open Grounds. Um, you're listening to WTJU Charlottesville. going to pass it back to Liz Lowenstein for one more track to close out.